Racing isn't easy, but experiencing it is. iRacing puts you in the driver's seat with the industry's leading sim racing game. Drive on laser scan replicas of the greatest racing circuits from around the world. Go head to head against other drivers chosen by skill based matchmaking to ensure competitive racing at every level. Compete across all your favorite series. In officially licensed cars, engineered to deliver the most accurate driving experience possible. Join a race or host your own with players from across the globe. Race against the computer or in a league with friends. Feel the thrill behind the wheel. Visit iRacing.com. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, it is time for the 21st edition of the Max Banced Open. Uh, da, da, da. My brain is not working, but no one's is on this wonderful Saturday evening or very early morning if you're on the other side of the world. The worst hosted event on iRacing entering its 21st edition. And the title of the event is Mission R. And the R stands for Rocky Road because we are racing at Rockingham Speedway, full road course in the Porsche Mission R. And, uh, well, who's going to come out on top? It's certainly going to be difficult because uh, this being an electric car, you will have to recharge the battery at some point during the race and there's going to be a long time spent in the pits. So, other than that, all bets are off. I'm Reese Gardner bringing this to you once again i've spent a couple of events out of the commentator's chair but i am back and jay kennedy is joining me as co and bringing you these live pictures across the interwebs jay i uh, i understand that uh, this is typically the night that we put in zero effort here on sim speed has that changed at all well sadly it has i've actually put in a tiny tiny little bit of effort and i'm absolutely disgusted with myself that i have as you um, should be. So yeah, let's uh, let's not talk about that. But um, no, I mean, actually, I I'm not going to say I'm looking forward to this one, but I will say it is good to have you back in the seat because it means that I don't feel like I have to put in as much effort. Indeed, as, uh, as always, it's always good for for me to come in and uh, pick up a little bit of the slack. Let's check out Rockingham Speedway full road course. It is, of course, located in Italy and uh, in, in the north of Italy, to be precise. Oh, uh, known to be one of the few international races on the NASCAR schedule. And as we zoom on into what we think is the park of, uh, of Monza, well, no, actually, that, that is not the truth at all. That is not... Autodroma Nazionale di Monza. That is indeed the Rockingham Speedway full road course. Plenty of right-hand turns around there, which is a bit interesting for a combined oval and road course. Yeah, I know. It looks a little different on the map than when you actually see it in uh, in the sim, but um, yeah, still, it's going to be very, very fun racing. All of those corners to the right definitely going to make uh, the left-hand tyres work really hard. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There we go. Uh, that That is actually... Rockingham Speedway. We're in qualifying at the moment and everyone's out on track at the moment, racing around this track like little ants and we see drivers already having plenty of issues around this track. You know, Jay, there was, uh, there was, you know, I, I was briefly heartbroken when I saw that there wasn't anything you could adjust on this car other than the electronics, but uh, I found a way to make this the typical terrible car to drive. Plenty of power going through the front wheels. No traction control, no ABS. Stiff front anti-roll bar at the front. Soft anti-roll bar at the rear. And brake bias all the way forward. So this car is an absolute pig to drive, as drivers found out the hard way in practice. You received a couple of very good compliments about your setup building uh, before the race started. I think uh, two-time Max Bantz winner, Keenan Cousin, uh, said worst car he's ever driven on iRacing so I, I think you need to take that as a very strong compliment yeah i think i do by a country mile in fact is, yeah. uh, is what and Keenan i mean said. he would know he's raced a lot of max bands oh he has indeed he was actually the winner of the second ever max bands open when we uh did the the race at 
Uh, it was Road Atlanta Club in the NASCAR Car of Tomorrow, where Let, tenth let's be place honest, it's was been the winner. Completely downhill for Max Vance since that one. That was the most oh, yeah. funny, enjoyable, entertaining one, and we've been trying to get to half of that level since. And we know we've got no hope, and for some reason, we still keep coming back. Yeah, that we do. I I would argue that. Uh, it, it, you can't really go downhill if you start at rock bottom to begin with. Oh, we uh, can. Less than... We've proven it. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, we have. Less than five minutes to go in the qualifying session. And wow, have a look at that. There's plenty of drivers way out in the weeds here. The qualifying session currently is topped by Dylan Bam. Uh, 50.16 seconds the lap time and of course these drivers are running qualifying power delivery uh, one of the one of the uh, other depressing things about the Porsche Mission R is that you are locked into qualifying and race power delivery in their respective sessions so uh, during the race session there will be no full power which is unfortunate um, but uh, this car's still very much a pig to drive. You see just how much power is going through the front wheels on this car. It's four-wheel drive usually, but you can change the drive bias to the front and the rear. I basically just put it as far forward as it'll go. So something like 80 to 90% of the power is going through the front wheels. Sorry, Race, I'm distracted because I've actually got to put in a tiny little bit of effort. So uh, oh, you, no. you can keep going. No! Um, my, uh, my poor spreadsheet building is uh, has caught me out, so I'm just just fixing things up so people's names sort of appear in the the ticker. But look, I probably should put in that little bit of effort. Oh well, yeah, maybe just a little bit, or you could choose not to, and everything would just uh, nah. everything would just run exactly the same. Only because of who who's missing, I better put them in. I, I mean, Zach Johnson is missing from there, and and Zach's um... a nice guy, so I better look after him. Yeah, yeah, you better. Although, Zach, if, Zach is although a good friend. if uh if I left him out, then he wouldn't have to admit that he raced Max Bantz, and that could be a positive. This is true. You you make a you make a very prescient, very good point. Uh, I don't think anyone really wants to admit with pride. Yes, I raced in the Max Bantz Open, um, and certainly me and Sperry, well, we, we do we do pretend to take pride in this event, given that it's become one of the one of the more popular uh, season end hosted events in the iRacing community. But uh, well, I, I think that we, uh, we, we we generally shake our heads and hang them in shame behind closed doors. We constantly think, you know, what, what the hell have we created? Can this get any worse? Life was better before Max Bands. Two minutes left. In the qualifying session and bam is still on top machi Haila is currently in p3 uh mia rose who was uh the top of the timesheets in practice is actually not doing too well in qualifying she is only a thousandth behind uh rural de milda in 17th place uh so i somehow get the feeling she's not going to be fighting for that pole position and well you, you talk about no effort jay I suppose drivers running the default uh, Porsche Mission R livery just exemplify that. But as, as with every Max Bands Open, we have had quite a few meme liveries turn up, which is always good to see. We've had a couple of laughs looking through the liveries, haven't we? We've, oh, yeah. Uh, we've seen plenty of uh, of fun ones. And I think for effort, do we give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to Dan Stevens? Um, I'm, I'm tempted to give it a thumbs up. So you see... Uh, the battery train there on the sides of his car. Um, have a look on the zoom feed. He's <laughs> oh, the train never stops. There are no brakes, particularly into turn one, where we've seen many people go wide. And oh, no, round he goes. Heart rate going up to 115. Well, he's going to have to take care of that. I love uh, little tricks that people put in on their Zoom feeds. And speaking of Zoom feeds, well, before we get into the race session, we should point out that uh, the um, the car will have to complete the 69 lap, nice, race length on uh, two full battery charges, which means there is going to be a pit stop in this race. Hello, everybody, I'm down here. Um, it <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, so, so glad I don't get to see your ugly mug. Anyway. Um, 
the uh, pit stop is going to take about 15 minutes, uh, maybe a little less. So everyone here on the Zoom wall uh, is going to be doing something during that pit stop time. Uh, we can go through a couple of them um, as the starting grid is now on screen. We are ready to go here with uh, Mia Rose actually taking pole position, which is uh, good to see. Already a Max Bands champion in the past, Dylan Bam joins her on the front row with uh, Hyla and Dyson. Rounding out the second row, Cameron Dance in fifth and Sam Harper in sixth place. Dan Stevens, another former champion of Max Bantz, is uh, going to take seventh spot, a son of banter there. Next to Josh Carroll Walden with Kate McKee and Scott Rankin rounding out the top 10. We've got Jack Butler and Simon Mazomo in 11th and 12th. Yeah, from there we've got Ethan Stanley and Brennan Lichtenberg on the seventh row with Dan Yeaman and Antti Klein uh, on row eight, row nine, Jonathan Ben and Kenny Kassan uh, our two-time Max Pants champion there. And then we've got uh, Roel Demure and Alice Spice with Cisco Scaramusa and LW Animic, Tom Holland and Oli Marla rounding out the top 24. 25th place, Alexandra Chaye is going to start alongside Cameron Osborne with JD Brooks sharing 27th and 28th with Ignacio Box Pla. Uh, awesome to see him in here as well. Regular in my Twitch chat. Good to see you, Togwa Patobo. Brett Pankari starts alongside Corey Verving to round out the top 30. And then we've got Steve McLennan, uh, Eric and Tilly, another two-time uh, son of banter, and Zach Johnson rounding out the field. Zach has done no laps in practice or qualifying. so uh, Perfectly the, prepared. Uh, yeah, absolutely. The FTF streamer is uh, going to be going for it from the rear here. Standing start for this race. And don't forget that long pit stop. Um, I can give you some hints. Um, Keenan Kusan is uh, going to likely be doing a DJ set during his pit stop. Uh, Cisco Scaramuzza has told me that he and Corey Vervink are going to have a race within a race. If it's snowing, if it's not snowing where they are, they're gonna see who can get to McDonald's and come back first. And if it is snowing, they'll see who will clean their car first. Don't know uh, who else is doing what, but I'm sure we'll have a few uh, pleasant or nasty surprises during that pit stop, which we should expect around the 35th lap or thereabouts. I don't want to say I'm excited for this race because I'm clearly not, but uh, it should be fun. That That's the one thing about Max Bance is that it is always fun. Uh, it's going to be entertaining. It's going to be a laugh. Um Let's see how it goes. I think standing start is going to catch a few guys out, though. So this is going to be interesting. Mm. I'll tell you how excited I am. There we go. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, um, already the green flag has flown. I was going to we say the racing. revs are rising, but you can't hear it. Yeah, there's no revs here. Have a look at this. Fantastic start from a few people. It looks like Bam has managed to get into first. Oh, and, four wide uh, through the oval. Oh, no. Easy does it, everybody, as you make your way into the turn two, or is it three and four? Who's breaking going down zone. the alternate pit lane? Hey, that's a bit naughty. Oh. Make sure you don't do that. It's, it's an absolute parking lot down at the first proper turn on the track. Keenan Kusen asking how many fast repairs we have. And Can confirm we do one. We have just the one. Mm, so Keenan is in trouble already. As uh, Bam leads into... The turn coming onto the oval once again. In second place, Machi Hyla. Let's see if uh, Hyla can get a good exit here. Less power, of course, going through the front wheels than it was in qualifying. But we already have black flags that have come in for cars 10, 13, and 26. That's Cameron Osborne, Royal de Mulder, and Andrew Dyson. Um, we've uh, seen them uh, make a couple of infringements on the first lap here, on board with Hyla, chasing down Dylan Bam. And this is actually a proper race, which is which is rare for Max Bands. I think it goes um, back to Max Bands 1 since we've had an actual legitimate race, isn't it? Yeah, just about. Um, the, the the gimmick, of course, is the pit stop and, uh, and also my proprietary terrible setup for the car. Um, but yeah, drivers are racing out and out across 69 laps of this oval and road course first one across the line wins that's all there is to it as there's an incident further back i've seen ethan stanley and i think uh Chaye also 
uh, going off in the infield. So a bit of a mixed up field at the moment. Our top two both up one position. Sam Harper up three as we take a look at the replay here. Someone has uh, come a cropper of no anti-lock brakes and the brake bias all the way to the front. It's been more go on after. So I think in the rejoin here for uh, Chalet is his... Uh, no, he actually isn't. Oh. Um, McLennan and Vivint here have an incident at the next corner. So I'll just stay on the replay and catch that. Uh, and see Corey Vivinkt in uh, in the Zoom. He's not too impressed with what's going on out there, which is great. Love uh, upsetting the iRacing staff after they tried to steal the game of uh, game of tag a few Max Bants ago. They deserve yeah, to be absolutely punished in this event. Indeed, they do. Except for Cisco. Cisco's cool. Anyway. Uh, Cisco still tried to steal it. So mm, true. He was the ringleader in that one. So Wally's cool. Was he? I'm, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't worry. He was the ringleader. I would have thought it was Drew. No, Drew wasn't racing. It was Sean, Corey, and uh, and Cisco. Hmm, okay. For the three of them. And uh, they uh, all... <laughs> right, Joe. Oh, the sledging in the YouTube chat. Um, i got, I got to read this. <laughs> Have you read that one from Ryan Jones? I've not. Not uh, yet. So what a pleasant noise for the car from David. And uh, Ryan Jones, uh, commentator here at SimSpeed, says, not to be confused with the sound Jay's electric wheelchair makes. Oh. Imply, implying that I'm old and require a wheelchair because Max Vance oh. is almost 65 years uh, older than me. Uh, 65 years away from my age, apparently. <laughs> you should have just stopped at 65 yeah, years look, older than me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's been a long night already. This event's been going on for centuries. It feels like it has. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for being perfectly honest, it feels like it's been going on oh. forever. Yeah, absolutely. Well... There is evidently a motor race of some kind going on here, so we should we should probably update you on how things are going. Um, Mia Rose riding on board with her right now, chasing down Sam Harper here for a position in the top three. Uh, Dance Whoop. was in. Oh no! There we go. That's a problem there for Mia. She has gone around. And Sam Harper continues on unscathed. Plenty of positions lost there for Mia Rose and uh, her uh, her dreams of becoming a two-time winner of Max Bantz suddenly in jeopardy as that's another problem there on the back straight of the oval. Eric and Tilly, oh another two-time champion, also having issues there. Have a look at how many mechanical black flags have appeared on screen in the last oh my few minutes. God. Six or seven it cars. Was... There was a huge accident off the uh, NASCAR turn one and two on the previous lap. Huge accident. Three or four cars minimum. Thank you very much, Scott Rankin, who is racing at the moment and with us in the SimSpeed comms box. I think we're going to so see it here, here? until he's going to mm. come up on it here. Uh, Scott, why oh, were you dear. in the grass just then? Oh, dear. No reason. Oh, no reason. my God. <laughs> oh. I... You, you see what happens is um, you can't commentate and drive at the same time, Dan. I don't know if you knew that one. Um, yeah. It's a novel experience, I'll give you that. And, and thanks for letting us hijack the broadcast, by the way, uh, yep. Jay and Reese. Of course. Uh, hey, we'll shut up we at some point. Less. We gave our written consent. I mean, that's a fair point, yeah. You, you talk less, I'll talk more and do what I normally do. Uh, on you're a, very good at talking more, don't worry about that. Yeah, we've had that conversation once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you ever broadcasted with Dan Yeaman? He talks more than the commentator sometimes when he's producing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I am well aware of that. As Cameron Dance has now found himself in fourth place, trying to get that position back from Sam Harper. Look at the Cam lean Dance. he's got going on, too. Classic lean. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. You know, I I'm thinking at some point we, we need to just like put a PNG of a protractor over Cam Dance's head. And then we can determine what his lean's like. I wonder if he's problems. going to get a book out again. Still yeah. one of the best moments we've ever had on our Zoom feed when he was reading a book down the back straight at Montreal. Yeah, that was fantastic. On the uh, on the basics of race car driving. Um, our conversation was on aero and, uh, and drag and things like that. And he actually automatically flipped to a page on that at the same time, which was rather Ooh. ironic. Oh, jeez. Goodness, that was uh, that's Roel de Mulder who uh, got a black flag, and oh dear, car fourteen, Brett Pankari, who is another longtime Bants competitor, has yet to win an event. Oh, yeah, leader around, making an entry onto the racetrack. Oh yes, indeed, Dylan Bam, he has found himself. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, actually no. 
a lot of drama onto the infield there. I've also just had uh, Massage Hyla and and Mr. Dance also off. Hmm. But I can see Dance Hyla. is off. Hyla second place who uh, got off the track there. What happened? Did he fall afoul of the ABS or lack thereof? He did indeed. And straight Race on. Race set up strikes again. Oh, yes. I had the, I've had the biggest grin on my face from the moment the server went up, hearing everyone's reactions. I was tuning in to Keenan's stream, and if you're interested in following along with Keenan Kusan, you can go to twitch.tv forward slash aerotech. That's A E R O T E Q. And that is. Uh, where he's streaming his race here, and he makes a move up the inside here of turn two or turn three. Does it really matter at this point? Uh, making his way up into ninth place, it seems, or tenth place rather, uh, in very close uh, company with Daniel Stevens ahead and Scott Rankin behind. If you are so wondering, and you're do. looking at uh, the webcam there of Keenan, and he looks like he's a bit uh, tired, a bit. Uh Larry eyed he's uh, hasn't been asleep yet, so yep. he can confirm he's only had one beer though. So uh, I said that was a little disappointing. And saying that, it is what five a.m. for him, so probably should True. let him off. Keenan is uh, is from Canada land. As uh, he tries to make a move here on Stevens, he's actually going for the crisscross, coming out of the oval. And what is this? Actual good racing in a Max Bands Open. <laughs> I'm, I'm extremely disappointed. Kill, I'm going to kill the stream if they keep this up. We can't yeah. be having this stuff. We're just, we're just going to end it. Just replace it with a with a splash screen. Or replace it with my Zoom feed. Oh, dear. There we that's go. That's problem. better. Crashing. That's what we want from Max Pants. Indeed. That was, uh, I believe, uh, Shaye potentially having another off. Is off the track. Goes uh, Adamek. And, well, have to make it way back onto the track. And looks like he's done it reasonably well. But does lose out quite a bit in terms of position. Was 18th and now is uh, <clears throat> 19th. <laughs> Let's try and a get terrible some, loss. Get some people up on Zoom that we haven't seen yet. So we can uh, ma make sure that we've seen everyone. No, that's Cameron Osborne. Sorry. Actually, no. Oh, Keenan's around. Not sorry. Oh, dear. Problem for Keenan Kusen. He is off the circuit. Now, what could this have been from? It actually looks like he caught the outside of the corner and uh, ended up going for a big old spin. And tried to correct it, and for some reason, the car spun under power, which it really shouldn't do, because there's effectively no power going to the rear wheels. Love it. Love this setup. I just spilled Let's beer down my uh, nose. Why is the tire smoke on the banking? Nope, never mind. All right, I've got a beer stain on the front of my shirt. Hang on. Let's put it up on Zoom. Where is it? Where are we at? I have joined. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. I don't know if you can even see it. Oh, look, it oh, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, it is. Well Lovely. done. Wait, well done. Wait, cool. hello there, Mr. Yeaman. How are you? Yeah, look. <laughs> there was yellow flags at turn three, and oh, someone else is off here in the infield, and oh, I've done a good job. I've done a very good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Synchronized off-tracking from the commentary crew. Okay, we're going to have to get a replay of this one, Jay, because um, <laughs> that was an excellent display from Scott Rankin and Dan Yeaman. Yeaman attempted to make the move on Rankin, coming into yeah, the right-hander on the infield. Oh, this is, this is the lap of exploration, not in a good way. Oh, dear. Rewind about 30 seconds. Oh, there's more trouble right down at the uh, the turn 3-4 spot as well. It's all going I'd off, basically. I'd, I'd like to let you guys in on a little secret. Porsche are currently testing a uh, a new lawnmower, right on lawnmower. So uh, you may see a few oh. of those out here tonight. Excellent. So you, might, you might want to start with me, Jay. Is this the hint I'll give you? Oh, I see. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, that'll do I, it. I, I blame the yellow flags for distracting me and missing my brake marker. Of that. course. So, Rankin comes up alongside. Yeaman attempts to uh, take the position back. A noble and, outbreaking uh, attempt. Yeah, just, we'll, just we'll completely cooks it. <laughs> Absolutely pathetic display. Remove yourself from the racetrack. Um, either way, the race will continue. Yeaman 
currently in 11th place. Still up four positions from where you started, Dan. So that is a plus. Scott, I, I, was in, I was in seventh. So I'm actually, well, I'd say disappointed. But then, like, am I actually having mm. fun if I go backwards? Mm. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. And Scott, a uh, little disappointing. It down two spots from where you started. So pick up the pace, boy. Uh, no. I don't want to. I don't feel like it. And you know what? Um, I, I haven't hired you to be my crew chief to tell me what to do. I am a supreme overlord of Max Bance, and my word is law, along with Jake Sparrow. <laughs> I was going to so. say, you invoke the wrath <laughs> of either, yes. either Reese or the supreme... <laughs> is it supreme supreme overlord or just supreme overlord I, I'm with the waiting. actual title? I'm waiting for the drive through penalty for invoking the wrath. That's just... I've, I've done the wrong thing there. I apologise. I invoke... 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 Oh! Because oh, <laughs> I boy. really gets cleaned up through NASCAR 1 and 2 by uh, Cade McGee. I should just watch the broadcast feed rather than my own driving at this stage. Hell of oh, a look. battle that these two have got. It's actually a battle for second between Sam Harper, Mazomo and McKee. Oh, yeah. Can someone put Mez off the track then? That is amazing. Uh, don't worry, he he'll come... put himself off the track. He should come and join us back here outside the top 10. Everyone's put themselves off the track at some point. I'm sure it'll happen for Mazomo again at some point. Um, our leader, Dylan Bam, is uh, currently in the That's lead by over seven That's seconds. Uh, I nearly followed you off there again, Dan. I saw you going off and my eyes were just locked on you. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I'm making a really good job of just expect, inspect. I'm doing grass inspections out there at the moment. That's Sorry, Mez. Mez was just giving us a wave, and uh, I ignored him and then put him back on camera just as he uh, stopped waving. Damn. Well, so, sorry, Mez. Wave, wa wave harder, Mez. He's uh, obviously got the YouTube stream up and uh, forgot about the delay. Have oh, a now, look at this, now, Mia Rose. Now I see why Mazoma is uh, ignoring us. Yeah. I understand now Mia Rose with the fight back and she's going to try and do the crisscross. No, Mazomo not giving her the room on the inside to do it. This is a four-way oh. fight for second place. Just found Brennan Lichtenberg off in the grass oh, at turns no. three and four as well. Oh, 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 so this is fantastic. Still... Great racing. What is this? This is not Max Bantz. Do these, yeah. uh, these guys and girls it's know what's fantastic. going on? It's too good for Max Bantz. Well, here we go then. Mazomo still keeps Mia Rose behind. But Mia, with a very hot entry into NASCAR 1, going to try and hold it here. Oh, gently does it. Mazomo will protect the inside into the corner, but it's that transition onto the infield that really catches people out. Meanwhile, Cade McKee just ahead of these two, really piling into the back of Sam Harper, and McKee goes for the big move. And manages to take second place. And who is that spun around? It is Adamek, unfortunately. They just managed to avoid him. What a fight. <laughs> oh, no. Looks like uh, Yemen is having some troubles of his own. This no, is I, a what do you mean? I, I got speed crew going on here. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, we've got the th three, three of the Sim Speed men here today. I know, I got past Scott. He sent back past me. I got nearly eliminated by uh, one Joshua, triple barrel middle name, Carol Waldron. Which was a bit of an interesting uh, moment there, but uh, we survive. We we press on. Uh oh, that's a spin there. Oh, Looks that's like a Mira lot Rose of spins going there. around. And unfortunately, that has uh, completely taken Sam Harper and Mia Rose out of contention for the podium as things stand. Currently, Cade McKee and Simon Mazomo second and third. Dylan right. Bams just continuing to uh, extend his lead. The racing's uh, settled a bit. So uh, there goes Dance Dance Revolution off the circuit in his Energizer Bunny car. Lots of batteries uh, out on track, which is great to see. We've got some Duracells, we've got some Energizers. I saw some uh, Exide batteries as well. So we've got all of the, the battery manufacturers out there today. I'm going to say there's a missed opportunity out there today. Somebody should have put together the banter battery livery. And they should. Oh, what's that? But that would also frame? that would also imply that effort was put in, and we, uh, while we appreciate it, we don't like it at the same time. <laughs> Indeed. Who are we riding with here? I suspect the man on screen. Lichtenberg. Well done, well done, Dan. Yeah, good stuff. You are you are smart boy. Um, you also might want to go check on Corey. Uh, yeah, Corey Vervinkt. Vervinkt. He's having a couple of moments. It seems, unfortunately. Yep. 
Driving a Martini livery, and uh, he had a big off in the middle of the infield. Lichtenberg's not doing too badly at the moment, up two places, but there is Vervinkt with uh, decidedly less front end on that car than there once was. There's a little bit of damage there, isn't there? He's uh, mm. going to struggle. I guess you don't have to worry about engine cooling. That's amazing. But does the battery overheat? Right. No, I don't. I don't think so. Would it be the battery or the motor that overheats? Can that confirm there is no temperature gauge in the car. Hmm. Okay. Well, we can drive as long and hard as we like, and I've noticed that the Vinked actually. I don't know if it's the low resolution on uh, the picture in picture, but he kind of reminds me of myself. I see that. Me in a beanie. And I do see two that. Working arms. Anyway, <laughs> um, back to the racing. Vervinkt currently with a uh, battle between uh, Auntie Helen and uh, Ella Spice. Probably not for position as uh, we have, uh, I believe, that is uh, Brendan Redacted Car off. And uh, Cisco Scaramuzza in this one as well. Oh! And oh no! Oh, that's a problem there. Uh, Jack Butler has uh, spun in front of Cisco there. Cisco, of course, uh, a good mate of ours here at SimSpeed, and uh, one of the uh, one of the media guys at iRacing. He's been producer on a couple of broadcasts I've worked on in the past, and uh, it's been very nice to uh, work with him in a professional sense. But here we uh, we begin the roastage uh, in terms of uh, Max Bance. So, how many incidents has Cisco had? Because it looks like the uh, front right of his car is a little bit scuffed at the moment. Can confirm be... that he's only on seven, so uh, no any Brown oh. Star level. Uh, Brown yeah. Star, though, is this man. I was going to roast Cisco for incompetence, but it looks like it's uh, it's it's lack of incompetence that uh, is the deciding factor. So this is most incidents in the field for Andrew Dyson. Yep, currently on 17. And Corey Vervinkt is on 15. Oh, there's... Unbelievably, there's two drivers on zero. Now, I don't I know, know if that's a good or a bad thing, but uh, or a well done, or I'm disappointed in you. Uh, what what um, one do I'm you think? I'm guessing one of them is the leader. Correct. Mm-hmm. Dylan Bam has just been uh, driving <laughs> That's like not a the grandma. time to wave, Andrew, as you're coming up onto the banking. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Oh, have a look at that. Car number 11, Hyler, currently chasing down Ethan Stanley for fourth place. And we already see a bunch of uh, damage to the front of Hyler's car sustained during his uh, epic move for uh, trying to keep second place. Unfortunately, he's fallen off the wagon a little bit, but he'll be trying to jump back on it. Stanley... Breaking a little bit earlier, and we see them just cranking on the steering. It's so hard to slow this car down with the settings I've applied to it. Problem in front there. And it looks like a lapped car making their way past. Anti Helen, who's currently oh. in 18th place, and nearly cleans them up. And Stanley wow. nearly got off the circuit there and, and looped it around, somehow held onto it, and then did a power slide out of the infield. How? That there's no power going to I the rear know. wheels. I don't know. I don't know. Almost. Almost no power going to the rear wheels. The grass can be helpful if you, you didn't use it touch right. the grass. <laughs> oh, okay, right, never mind. I'll take that back. Oh no! Uh, I need to stop touching grass while I'm at it. <laughs> mm. Get good. Or should you be touching grass? Why I can go touch sigh? the grass. Well, I'll go take a break. I can go take a break and touch some grass. Oh, I was going to say with, with Dan Yeaman pulling okay, away from me. Reese, slowly. we've got can something guys... breaking news. Someone mm -hmm. is doing the alternate strategy of a two-stop. This is Simon Mazomo in the pits early. Oh, okay. Someone's trying to change things up here. I'm gonna try um, and split off the race into two pit stops. Hmm. Surely that's a bit of an L. Hmm. Maybe. Will that work out for Mazomo? Well, he's gonna be in there for a while. He's gonna be in there for about oh, six or seven minutes thereabouts. And you see, he's taking the gloves off. He's just waiting now. For that uh, battery to recharge. Oh lordy! Tell you what, if he's if he puts a full charge back in, 
And this final pit stop will likely be a little bit shorter. Spin on the oval, spin on the oval. Oh no, Corey Vervinkt. He has uh, absolutely been oh, okay. uh, pile drive. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Knife. Okay, it's down the bottom. It's fine. Mm, not so fun. The traffic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some problems there for Danny Dan. Let's see what happened here. Oh, lordy. I don't even know what happened to Vervink there. Obviously, uh, making his way back onto the oval. Did he catch the apron or no? Uh, all right, this happened through NASCAR 1 and 2. So, into the turn he comes. And... It's light on him. That is the first time I've seen that happen. That, that never happened to me during my setup testing. Every single Max Bance, the drivers just amaze me with what they can achieve. Is that a good or bad thing? Uh, yes. <laughs> Correct answer. <laughs> um... Oh, yeah. Mia Rose has made her way back up into third, by the way. There's just been, there's been so much jostling about going on. Uh, everyone behind car five, Dylan, bam, there he is. Um, it's just been, there's been nothing uh, stopping the, the chaos here. JD Brooks went off just ahead of Mia Rose there. And uh, we also have Jonathan Bain of, uh, of Middle Finger Racing. Teammate to Daniel Stevens currently in 15th spot. One of and... two drivers with zero incidents at this stage. Someone go and give him a little whack just to uh, make sure that that's all accounted for. Indeed. Uh, he's not that far behind Cisco Scaramuzza and uh, Brendan uh, as well. Brendan Lichtenberg. Um, Somebody else is in the pit lane. Oh, my God. Dan I Stevens. See. Oh, okay. So the alt strategies are starting to come up. Hi, Jonathan. Um, the alt strategies... You know, I, I, I expected that we would see uh, everyone go for that one long pit stop in the middle of a race, but these drivers splitting it up, this this could actually be an interesting play. Is it that like, they want a beer or something like maybe. that? Maybe. Well, let's see what Dan Stevens does. His heart rate is uh, currently in maybe the... Maybe he's uh, decided he needs the heart rate to drop a little bit and he's decided to come in for the extra stop. Oh, look. Maybe. No, oh, there yeah, we go. He's already got, so, yeah, it is a yeah. beer stop. Can confirm. Excellent. All right. Hydrate. Alcoholize. Uh, and bring that heart rate back down because it's currently around uh, around dead mouse level. Doots, 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 doots. Okay. Um, <laughs> Chris Crossy Scott. So then... <laughs> Uh, check back Can in. Can you boys stop actually having fun and racing out there? No. I, w I was no, no. off. But there is I, I decided... no fun allowed in Max Bands. I, I would I... like to point out the only reason it started is because oh, Dan nice. had pulled a three and a half second lead on me and then decided that was too much and he wanted to test out the lawn mowing capabilities. He installed a new blade in the last few laps and I uh, wanted to test that out. Uh, Dan, Can what were the results that, of the testing? Uh, that Dan Stevens has got up and grabbed another beer and is about to crack it. There we go. He's into it. Oh. Yes, that's what we like to see. Well, um, you know, it looks like oh, Yemen and yeah, Rank up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm energy saving, Dan. God. All right, fine. Oh, inside I go. Oh, no. Dan's going to loop it here. I can see it coming. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Scott loops it. Oh, Keenan Coosen <laughs> makes his way through. Who's that stuck that against the wall? What? What's that again? What's that? Oh, me loop again. Thank you very that's much. That's Shay. <laughs> oh. Shia off. Uh, well, it was in a bit deep, I'll admit that much. Uh, can confirm. Grass does not have grip. Oh, uh, here we go. Now, now Mazomo is the one with the book. Is that is that a Japanese textbook? He's textbook? course in elementary Japanese. Hmm. Um, he's leaning into the paint job too much. Learning, I think so. Or how, not enough. Yeah. I mean, depends on your take. Muscly oh, oh, racing. Oh, yep, I love, I love. Uh, oh no, yeah, Yaman spun it. He's loose. See, it. I called it just a lap early. <laughs> <laughs> oh, careful on the fuck, uh, on the on the ring entry there. Uh, oh, what do you mean? That was perfectly safe. <laughs> Reese, uh, did you nearly drop a swear word? Nearly, <laughs> nearly. I might be but burning I the didn't. fronts and the rears in the process, but it's all fun and all fair and all safe. Ish. Uh, just gonna go, ca gonna go catch Scott and Cam again. And if, Keenan. You, if you guys out there watching in uh, in YouTube land and, and Facebook land and wherever else you might be watching from, you can tell that we are having a, a bit of fun in the comms box at the moment. Mm. We'll get yeah. serious when it gets closer to the end. 
Yeah. For now, it's good times for, for the majority of this projected hour and a quarter of racing. Speaking of, on 30, we're going to oh, be seeing get... the big pit stop coming in a few laps' time. Scott, you've got oh, to no. put on the brakes a bit earlier for turn one or the, the proper first turn. Yeah, there was, was a lot of them. Oh. Yeah, there was two of us down there. We were having a party. Yeah, I like a you know what? proper barbecue. I, I legitimately think I can feel why people have gone to the pits early. Um, I seem to be struggling with braking performance. It's uh, a tyre thing. From That's the front end, is. potentially. I would suspect maybe some people like with like a fresh set of Michelins on the front end of these cars. It's, oh, hello there. Who's, who's having a wobble? And a, or a fight. One of the two. Hmm. Or all of the above. Couple of people. Oh, no. Easy does it. Highland Stanley. They are racing hard here at the moment. They're up behind some traffic of uh, Oli Mala. But Marla lets them through on the way into turns coming onto the oval. Plenty of drivers having to make their way through traffic at the moment. So I can confirm drivers that have taken at least one pit stop. Eric and Tilly, uh, Andrew Dyson, he's been in the pits twice, I think once for a penalty. Uh, Ellis Spice, Alexander Chaye, Oli Marla, uh, Cam Osborne, Josh Carroll Walden, Roald de Mulder, and uh, Corey Vervinkt uh, and Stevens, Mazomo and McLennan are still in the lane. McLennan's been in there some time, but uh, I think Mazomo might be coming out of the pits soon um, because his pit stop time is approaching seven and a half minutes. We might see Mez back out on the circuit very shortly as the battery continues to charge up very slowly. No, he's, he's, the gloves are off the, um, the wheel. I just got a message hands. from Dan Stevens. He's going for a shave. <laughs> oh, don't like get a... rid of the glorious beard, please. Nothing like a fresh face to attack the second half of the race. What do you mean? <laughs> he's fresh got face, the YouTube fresh stream man. up in the middle of his computer while he's in the pits. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Okay, keep, keep, keep that up. Keep it on the Zoom feed. Uh, actually, actually make the Zoom feed uh, full picture. I've got an idea. Um, let's, oh. let's, let's see what, 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 what we can achieve here on Stevens' Dan, middle monitor. Dan, with, uh, with pit stops coming off in about six laps, I've always wanted to get to know you more. Would you, would you like to go on a date with me, Dan Stevens? Uh, Dan Yeaman. Dan Yeaman, wrong one! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I don't know whether to feel tight. <laughs> You've no, already... if you're, yeah, if you're touched or concerned now, yes, we've got issues about, yes, name association well, look, going on. I, I, you know what? I can get to know you better <laughs> because clearly missing your name, I don't know you well enough and we can sort that out on a date. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, well, that's, that's not fair. I'll... All right, fine. I'll I'll put him if I go off the road. I'll I'll put him off next time. How about that? Well, well, by this point, I think we've got a bit of an infinite screen thing going with Dan Stevens' middle monitor. Oh yes, uh, I like this. So, uh, so yeah. Mizomo is back out on track. Have a look he at is. that pit stop time, Rose. Yeah, righto. That's uh, that is eight and a half minutes or thereabouts. No, I reckon five hundred and three seconds sounds much better. Uh, true. Yes, 503 seconds. Uh, you know, I'm going to be very curious because I'm just having a look at yeah, your numbers up there compared to what my estimated pit stop time is. He will make some time back, but it's yeah whether he can. It's going to work for him. I'm still not certain. Mm. Well, it's whether you can keep it on the track, really. That's yeah, that's, the, that uh, is true. I seem I seem to have that slight issue. Mm, but Mazomo might have it too. You never know. Yeah, you never know. Sam Harper in the lane on lap 35. This Let's is see if he actually legitimately has gone for a shave. Here he is. He's back. Is, is, is Show us the face. Yes! yes! <laughs> he shaved! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> oh, my God. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> and he gets back in the car with time to spare. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. Oh. oh, moves being made meanwhile. Oh, do we care? Into the <laughs> um, oh, hello, Cam. What are you out doing in the infield? Mia Rose is in. 
I would suggest having a look at Mr. Dance and figuring out why he was in the infield so much because that was a quite the interesting spot to spot him. Let's see in, in tonight number is he's number six. Hmm. Uh, got some news about Zach Johnson. Uh, about forty minutes late. Um, apparently, uh, he's not uh, not been able to take the start because i racing and any game for that matter will not load on his computer oh dear so uh, i think i think that's uh zach's hardware showing him a little bit of mercy potentially there's uh the okay. dance moves mm -hmm. he's doing a bit of a, a 360 practice indeed well it looks like dylan bam Cade mckee ethan stanley in the pits will keenan Cooson come into the pits he's going a lap longer it seems actually he's, he's a fair he's a fair way behind actually about 25 seconds behind ethan stanley so let's uh let's see then do you know what's going to what be disappointing are doing we're going to have people in the pits but then we're also going to have people still out on track so we're not going to have a proper 15 minute break now no we're not everyone's got to try and screw us over ridiculous Here we were trying to in in uh, invent an actual legitimate break mid-race, and now people are going and ruining it with strategy. People are like, no, I'm going to pit twice. Yeah. Well, Keenan's managed to actually go uh, two laps longer than the projected um, projected extent of the battery. Seems that he's been uh, he's been backing off a tiny bit. I can't wait to see. Uh, what he does on Zoom when he comes into the pits, because uh, he, he, he did hint that uh, he might be doing a DJ set, but not too sure. And he comes into the lane, all right? Let's follow Keenan Cousin here, and um, we'll see what he does. Almost gets rear-ended. Dan, did you go get Daniel. a speeding in pit lane penalty then? No, of course not. Okay, that was close. That was just... Yeah, of course it was close. <laughs> it would be inappropriate if I didn't push limits. All right. But he I made sure to... Box. All right, here we go. He's leaving his rig. All right, let's see what he does here. What's he doing? He's getting up and doing something. What's he picking up? What's he doing? Oh, he's walking away. Cisco Scaramucci <laughs> is walking. now the he's... leader of the race. Oh, no. Yeah, that, that, that looks like his DJ deck. Oh, he's... He's ruined it. He's cancelled his Zoom feed. <laughs> oh, he's no. teasing us. <laughs> get back on Zoom, Keenan. As well, since, you know, I'm well organised and I've got plenty of time here. I love... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I didn't mention. Yes, all right, Cisco versus Corey. Who's going to get back to the car first? Oh, my God. Scott is leading, by the way. Look, are we still worrying about the race? Um... Well, I mean, we can check in from time to time. Here we go. This is this is the versus run. <laughs> Look at this. Fantastic. Corey Verbink on the right. Cisco Scaramuzza in the middle. And there is Keenan Cousin's uh, Dex. He's he's choosing his first I don't think we need to worry here. about the race. We just, just watch this for a bit. So this is a legitimate yeah. race within a race here between Cisco and Corey to get to uh, McDonald's order and get back to their sim rigs first. Uh, Corey's already in the car yeah. and away he goes. So yes. what do you Cisco's think would be the vehicle. fastest Macca's item on the menu to be served to you? Because I think that would lend well, a look, you wouldn't advantage. Be getting, you wouldn't be getting an Small ice cream. Fries. Yeah, you wouldn't be getting Small an ice fries. cream because the machine would be broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and would they be getting an ice cream anyway? It's, it's super cold over there in Boston. Well, and it's also five in the morning. Has Cisco even gotten to his car yet? Is he running yes. to Macca's? He might, he might actually be running to Macca's. <laughs> No, no, he's, oh, he's, he's putting it somewhere. He's getting in his car. Okay, all right, all right. So the question now becomes... <laughs> the, 
The question now becomes, is Cisco closer <laughs> to his local McDonald's than Corey Verving is to his local McDonald's? Oh, and can I just say, thumbs up to Keenan for uh, doing a DJ set with his sim racing gloves on. Yeah, absolutely. I've got a pair of those exact same <laughs> gloves, actually. Um, there we go. He's tuning it up. If you yeah. want to listen to what Keenan's playing, again, go to twitch.tv forward slash aerotech. This That's is the aerotech dumbest thing we've ever seen with the most exciting, amazing thing we've ever seen in a sim racing broadcast. Yeah, this is this this is this is actually nail biting stuff between Cisco and Corey. I I can't believe we're actually witnessing this. Oh my god. Uh, Look at him as almost planning yeah. a Macca's run. Yeah, actually, he just mentioned that he could potentially afford to go to Macca's for his next stop. Oh this is uh, this is true Max Vance, what's going on now. You know the two yeah. drivers still haven't pitted yet? We're on lap 40. Um, Adam and it went to 41. And Kari. Kari haven't pitted. Corey's, yep. Corey's phone keeps uh, falling over while he's driving. Cisco has a smile on his face, so uh, he might be getting very close. I was about to say, is that McDonald's in the background? But no, it's not. He's in a car park. Oh, here we go. <laughs> is he there already? Oh, Lordy. <laughs> he's so, ordering. He is. Is he or No, he, I don't think he, he might be stopped at some traffic lights. Oh, yes. This is uh, interesting. Like oh, Corey's, Corey's had to turn his phone off. Oh, no. If we don't get pulled up by a traffic cop. Animax in the pits. Pinkari still hasn't pitted. We'll bring them back up in a sec. Yeah, I have to say, will. I'm impressed by the electric endurance of, uh, of some of these drivers. 40 laps on their opening charge. Mm, yeah, Adamax just come into the pits and will Pinkari follow nope. him? Nope, Pinkari's Pankari. gone. Oh, He's yep. still going. What the hell is going on with Brett Pinkari? Cisco's ordering. Just, has, oh. somebody, has somebody taught Brett Pinkari what the throttle pedal is? Um... Reese, we've also been having a little bit of fun with uh, ChatGPT over the last couple of days, trying to work out if we could add something in. Uh, yeah. Ryan has just got one. Read that bottom one. Um, um, read it word for word as if you're doing an intro to the show. Uh, in in, uh, in in our chat. Discord? Yeah, yes. in okay. our Discord chat. <clears throat> Welcome to SimSpeed TV's coverage of the electric car eSport race, where the action is so intense that even the drivers need a break to go to McDonald's. Yes, you heard that right. We're currently watching virtual race car drivers take a half-time break to fuel up on virtual burgers and fries. It's like a virtual version of NASCAR's famous pit stops, except instead of changing tyres, they're ordering from a digital menu. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the virtual fast food run. And who knows, maybe we'll see a virtual food fight break out before the second half begins. That is actually half decent. I uh, can confirm Corey has Excellent. food. Cisco is oh. waiting to pick up. So Corey is currently leading this race. Oh, here we go. Okay, so so yeah, now now it becomes a question of what route are they going to take to go home. Of course, we're not we, we don't we don't know, you know, where these guys live obviously for privacy reasons, but will Corey Vervink have to take a less direct route back to his house from McDonald's or will Cisco have the advantage on that one? Here we go. He's at the drive-through window and Keenan's absolutely jamming away. Pankari has not pitted yet. He's going for his 40-second lap on this opening charge. Maybe Pankari's going to go for a 43rd lap here. No, nope. he's, no he's coming in finally. Yep. He Pankari, comes in finally. The last driver, the last holdout. He comes into the pit lane from the lead. And uh, well, Josh Carroll Walden, 44 seconds behind. This is much more interesting than the race. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it is. It is. All right, here we go. Cisco, I think, is still waiting for his food. Yeah, he's still waiting. Oh, he's having a chat. He's having a chat to the drive-through person. What or his phone on? keeps falling down. Oh, yeah, he still it does. Yep, he's still waiting at yeah. the window. Interesting that yeah. uh, the US Macca's windows look exactly the same as the Aussie ones. Oh yeah, absolutely. Food's pretty much exactly the same too, I'd imagine. Wonder how uh, old Aero is going. On his DJ set there, he's twisting those dials. Seems to be having a good time. He looks like he's enjoying himself, and that's the most important thing about Max Bands, having fun. Absolutely. He's having a he's having a having a proper jam right there. <laughs> Cisco should tell him that he's in a race. Feel the beats. Here, Here we goes. go. Cisco! 
What's he's, he got? He's paying. He's only got you a drink. He's got his food. He's got a drink? Oh, he's getting That's... real food. He's getting a, a full on meal. Corey's, Corey's walking back, back to the, the house. house. Corey, just goes still on the drive through. Here he goes. Just taking her time in the drive through window, too. Yeah, She's not in any rush at all. Oh, man. <laughs> Up the stairs goes Corey. <laughs> he's won this oh. race easy. Oh, yeah. He absolutely has. Oh, there we go. Looks like race over for Cisco Scaramuzza. Corey Vervink is the Macca's Run champion. Yep. Well done, Corey. Congratulations. You win nothing. He's done it. He's done it. Now he's got to try and set up his, his phone again as, as my cat, Felix, has decided to... Oh, uh, Mazomo off the trash. Shut his mouth. On the alternate strategy. Oh, dear. Well, Mez. That, that might cost him. Um, so Joshua Carroll Walden leads the race. Uh, he's come into the pits on lap 43 mm. and has a full lap on everyone. Okay. Well, Josh Carroll Walden is... Uh, Looking at a potential victory here. This is this is this will be interesting. He did a she did a short stint early on in the race, I see. Hmm. Very short stint. Got this some bad zone. news. Got some bad news. Cisco is still stuck at the Macca's window. Oh no, they're <laughs> taking ages. Where's his where's his pit stop time? Uh, He's starting to get frustrated. Cisco. Cisco has been in the pits for eight for... minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah, right. Oh, goodness or me. 500 seconds if you want to. Can confirm that uh, Cam Dance has come back with a beer. Good lad. Oh, uh, yeah. Good job, Cam. Good stuff. There he goes. Yeah. There we go. Wonder what he's drinking. I can tell for, um, for anyone who cares, which is probably no one. I'm currently What's sinking you some uh, Tinny's Lager. Um, what is, that a, is that a jar? It is a jar that he's struggling to open. A jar of something. What? What is it? Is it a jar of pickles? What on earth? <laughs> what, is, what is it? Cam, show us. What is it? Is that a jar of mayonnaise? No. No. It's a... What, what is that? Is that a protein shake? Yogurt? Kefir? What on earth, Cameron Dance? What is, is he, that? Why is he not just in the comms box with us to answer these questions? Oh, but, uh, uh, smoky oh, moonshine. But it's got cream in it? Uh, pumpkin, pumpkins. I, I see pumpkin, pumpkin spice, spice on the okay. side of the label. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So, yeah, all right. He's, 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 he's got the beer. He's got the moonshine. He is, uh, he's getting well into the uh, southern U.S. spirit here. Can we check in on Cisco as Cam takes his first sip? He's still waiting. <laughs> How are they taking this long? I'm up to 11 minutes. It's pitted. like five in the morning for Cisco. Like, wh <laughs> why? What, what is wrong with that McDonald's? He's, he's frustrated. <laughs> oh, my God. Finally, Cisco's got his food. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, finally he is away. But he's been he, he has been lapped by Corey Verving in, in in more than one sense. This is the greatest thing ever. Oh, this is this is fantastic stuff. Oh god. All right, Cameron where, where dances is... back out on track. He only had an eleven minute pit stop. Yeah, righto. He might have been racing a bit efficiently in the first part of the race. Yeah, just, just a bit of moonshine. To push too hard. Corey uh, Vervinkt confirming that Cisco got hosed. 
thing is, um, Cisco They're both driving is... very different cars now. Yeah. That they are. Uh, Corey's still in the pit lane. Um, Cisco's still heading home. Will Cisco be able to get back home and into his sim rig before Vervink pulls out of the pits? In terms of position, uh, Scaramuzza has the advantage because uh, because Vervink is seven laps down, while Cisco is only three laps down on the leader. So there's a few elements to this battle. Can confirm Simon Mazomo has taken the lead on his alternate strategy. There we go. Now, oh, this this will be interesting. Now, depending on when Cisco gets home, this this could get really interesting. Vervink could unlap himself versus Cisco here by virtue of getting back from Maccas before Cisco does. He's uh he's Le made a horrible misjudgment on what shop to go to, hasn't he? Yeah. Well, look, he here's the thing. Lap times around Vegas here, the road... Oh, sorry, around Rockingham. What the hell did I say Vegas for? Um, they're about uh, about 53 seconds or so. So Cisco only needs to take another four <laughs> minutes to get into the sim rig. And Vervink could unlap himself. But it's looking to me like Cisco might just get away with this in terms of on track. He might have lost the battle, but can he win the war? He's still trying to get in his house. Oh, no, the run's on again. Run here we go. from the car. Work off those calories before you ingest them, Cisco. Vervink about to complete his first lap out of the pits. Cisco's still not inside yet. <laughs> when did we this become is... this? <sighs> I mean, I, I... I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. This is the most fun I've had in a Max Pants in years. But yeah, when did this? When did we we get to this level? I don't know. And, and it's amazing that you say in years, because that really hits home how long we've been doing this. <laughs> we event. are in our sixth year of doing Max Vance now. Oh my God. We are. What have we become? Indeed. Well, Cisco's back inside. He's going up the stairs. <laughs> he was running up the, the stairs and now he's stopped running. He's like, nah, I can't run anymore. Yeah, he's, he's got to, he's got to reserve you, some energy. I tell you what would be funny if he came inside and there was someone else sitting in his sim rig, i.e. his housemate. <laughs> Yeah, who, who we both know. That would be hilarious. Yeah, that would be fantastic. <laughs> Please happen. Please. I should message said person now. Apparently, apparently, um, according to Cisco, said person did not sleep in in their house. Uh, ah, okay. This night, so it seems Cisco is home alone. That is, that is unlikely then. Mm. Well, Cisco's getting himself set back up. Corey oh, Corey's is, off the uh, track. Oh, he's off the track. Oh, no. Well, that's not just off the track. That's uh, heavy damage, too. Yeah, yeah. Off in the weeds and into the Armco. Cisco getting himself back up into the sim rig. I wonder if Cisco's car is actually... Yeah, it's down on, off the jacks and ready to go. Corey Vervink is on his 37th lap. Cisco... Is on his 39th lap. Yeah. But I get the feeling that Cisco will be getting back going any second now. Uh, we've got to go to this camera for a second because... Oh my god. Yeah, okay. So Keenan's obviously back out on track. His DJ set's done, but he certainly got into the festive spirit there. Cisco's back out on track. Oh boy. 69 lap race, remember, so there's still plenty of suffering to go. Oh, oh no, Verving, you, you had the advantage, mate. Stop messing up. <laughs> there we go, Cisco just went by him. <laughs> so he's lapped put, him. Put a lap, put a lap back on him. Corey's got oh, a mechanical God. black flag, he's done. Uh, has he used his spare? Yes, he has. He's done, unfortunately. Um, mm -hmm. Joshua Carroll Walden, who we said was the last car to come into the pits, he uh, he's still stopped. But uh, he shouldn't yeah. be too far away from being able to go back out on the track again. 22 laps to go. We'll see Mizomo and Stevens in for their second stops very soon. And I think uh, Steve McLennan also has done that strategy as well. Hmm. 
Lots of interesting eventuations making their way out of this race. Now in terms of um, in terms of positions, you do see that Simon Mazomo is in the lead by a whole lap over everyone else. But remember, he's one of the drivers who we think is going for the two stopper. Can and Dan Stevens is JCW the same. JCW has just left the pits and gone off at turn one. Nope. Okay. Josh Carroll Walden. Uh, Andrew Dyson currently well and truly in control of the Brown Star as well. Oh, yeah. How many incidents has he He's got? He's up to 31. Uh, Corey Vavink on 27. And then the rest are 20 or below. Uh, mm. Jonathan Ben has finally got one incident, but uh, Dylan Bam still on zero. Okay. Wow. But that's, Dylan Bam that's... is no longer favorite to win this race. I would say that Cam Dance, Cade McKee, they're the guys that are racing at the moment for the effective race lead. Hmm. Okay. There's only eight tenths between them. Yeah, that is that is interesting there. Cam Dance powered by Moonshine. Indeed. Will it give him the pace he needs? As they as Cade McKee makes his way past Oli Marla, Cam Dance will have to make his way past him pretty soon. I'm going to be really curious to see how things are going, because I'm looking at all my pit numbers and stuff and going, hmm, I am either overcharged or inefficient. I don't know which. Both? Hmm. Well, my, according to my calculators, I've got enough electricity to make it home just. Oh, that's a big checkup. Oh, holy mala. Well, that's how to get the slower car out of your way. Just yeah, pump and, them out and, of the way. And amazingly, Marla held that, and he didn't spin. Come on, car. Come on. Pretty fantastic. Dan's around. So, yep. Oh, no. Oh, uh, Ben's gone off. Oh, how end of the three wide. No! No, Run away. no, 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 no! Oh. Run away! <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Mazomo's back in the pits. Oh, Okay. That's the second pit stop for Simon Mazomo. Give everyone a wave, Dan. Oh, hello. <laughs> I love how you had to wait for the corner before you did the wave. Like, hang on, let me be able to do this. <laughs> I mean, I could try and wave, but that would just be an absolute recipe for, dis for disaster. I'm, I'm certain. I literally look at one wrong thing and I just miss my braking mark entirely. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, and braking markers, you really have to be on it uh, with this setup. No ABS and brake bias all the way forward. This thing just plows into every single turn. Cade McKee, meanwhile. Getting pressured now by Cam Dance, but slightly better exit. Out of the right-hander on the infield. Mazomo is gone. Just disappeared. He did say he was going to get some food too, didn't he? He's got time. Mm. He'll have about seven minutes stopped. Okay, McKee has a little bit of an internet glitch and disappears from the planet. Oh, smoke. Okay, false alarm. Just simple smoke signals. Only 19 laps to go, but uh, McKee and Dance. Two laps down on everyone else. As you said, though, Jay, they seem to be the favourites to win this one. It all depends on uh, what Sam Harper and Jonathan Ben do. Well, Sam Harper's so going to have to run spun. really long. Yeah, there's smoke up ahead. Sam Harper's going to have to run really long on this stint, so he's going to have to do a lot of saving. He is a lap ahead, but he's got to do some saving to get there. And Jonathan Ben's yeah. going to be in the same situation. So uh, while they are ahead on paper, will they have enough to get home? And how much will they have to save to Ooh. get home? You end up. Here we go. Oh, Yaman just had to uh, take some avoiding up, up action the for Roald de Mulder, who was the driver who spun. Coming on also, the banking. Also, um, it's great hearing Cisco just bemoan the state of the fact he got given uh, fresh Maccas this morning. <laughs> yeah, isn't that the great irony? Yeah, it's the oh, one time yeah. you don't want your Maccas to be made fresh to order. Well then. We can just stay on this view for a bit because we can sort of see what's yeah. going on. We can just see some dots on screen. It's like looking at a track map, legitimate track map, except you can actually see the cars. Yeah, it's like uh, 
like uh, like oh, Generali or Circuit Superstars. There's a car stop somewhere, but I can't see where they are. It's was Olimala on the infield. Oh, I see the exit of, the exit of uh, the, the what's officially hairpin. turn six. Yeah, officially turn six infield hairpin. Mm. Uh, oh, we got another car in the pits having to stop again. Although they've only done nine laps on this charge. So, they've come uh, in to get damage fixed as much as anything else. Uh, uh, Andrew Dyson is now up to 36 incidents. He is now 10 clear of anyone else. Keenan! Mm -hmm. Brown Star on its way. I think we just stay on Dan with the sound effects studio going on that he's uh, producing for us. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I could do that for you. Yeah. No, we don't want it. I mean, uh, we could get taken <laughs> off the air the way you're sounding. Uh, <laughs> it, <laughs> all right, fine. It was Keenan Cousin that he uh, yes. had to avoid um, Keenan having an off coming onto the infield. Corey Vervink is still in the pit lane getting that damage repaired, but uh, he's uh, he said already in the Insim voice chat he, he won the McDonald's race. He won the important so, race. Max Vance yeah. is secondary. That's it. He's got the true trophy. You know, you, you, you can't eat the Winra trophy. Well, I suppose you can if you if you print it out. Uh, excuse and, me. And and, uh, it. My first ever Max Vance trophy will be eaten. Okay, we'll hold cool. you to that. You got, yeah. Do you know what you could Make do? Make sure that you record it. You could print it out on edible paper That's and then put, put it on onto cake. like a cupcake or something. Yeah, you could. Or you, you could just print it out on normal paper and eat that. You know, <laughs> I've, just, I've just been sent a message from Ryan Jones, who is playing around with ChatGPT in the background. Are you ready oh for this God. race? Okay. It's like watching it. a train wreck, but instead of a train, it's Max Bant's commentary, and instead of a wreck, it's a slow and painful descent into madness. That is one hundred percent correct. Yeah, yeah, that's it. that's exactly that what is what's going is. on. This is Man. this is yeah, this is no surprise. AI is scary, bro. <laughs> How does it know exactly what's going on in this race? I mean, we do know that AI is listening, but is AI legitimately listening? Oh, I don't know. It might be. It's Terminator. This is how we get Skynet! Sam Harper is now back on the lead lap. Dan Stevens could be trying an alternate here and seeing if he can go all the way to the end. Oh. All right. Um, let's... Uh, see with 15 laps to go who comes away with the Winra trophy this time oh dear Dan Yeaman's oh, lawn mowing yes. service who needs Jim's mowing when you got Dan's mowing <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know funny you mentioned that god uh, the, the amount of Jim's services I've seen <laughs> you know what's funny in Australia. Kirsty and I were talking about this my partner Kirsty and I were talking about this the other day I'm gonna see if she she's listening in the background if she works out what we're talking about with the amount of things that they are out there what's going to be next yeah jim's cremations I mean, I, jim's cremations <laughs> she just lost jim's... her mind in the other room <laughs> <laughs> jim's <Yeah>. ai <laughs> jim's ai training oh my jim's sim racing broadcasts we might have a competitor soon in the oz nz sim sphere shoot us a message jim if you're listening mm-hmm you know, fun I've, fact. I have seen him try lawnmower and sim, and he uh, wasn't very good at it. So maybe Jim might mm. not. Maybe. Uh, but funny, funny. We talk about Jim's everything. Uh, apparently, my parents, um, way back when they bought uh, our house in the early 1990s, um, they they had Jim come and do their lawn, and it was like just gym. after he started the business. Yeah, the actual Jim. Uh, Kirsty in the YouTube chat, my partner Kirsty, she just said Jim's funerals. Uh, I think. <laughs> uh, this event might go to uh, Jim's funerals if we keep this up. Mm. You've seen uh, Jim's accounting, Jim's antennas. What other ones? I is saw there? an ad for Jim's bookkeeping. Jim's ones. bookkeeping. Wow. So that must be like the the spin off of Jim's accounting. Mm. What's going to be next? Jim's political party. I'm surprised he hasn't got one. Yeah, Jim for prime minister. Let's get behind it. Oh, there's a big crash. Big crash on the infield. Oh yes. Eric and Tilly oh, around. Steve is involved. Dylan Bam around. Stevens yes. got involved. Stevens involved, indeed. There he is. Oh my, yeah, this, is, this is quite the uh, moment. Yeah, just everyone everywhere all at once. Um, please, yeah, please bring out the replay so I can have a look at what happened. Yeah, all right, there you go, Dan. Uh, we have it up on the screen. So it was uh, some slow driving from Auntie Helen and Eric in Tilly, as well, well as... Uh, Stevens is in. 
Dylan Dan Bam. Stevens and, is in the pits. Yeah, Stevens actually. Oh, that's went, Cam Dancer uh, started it, actually. Yeah, but have a look at Dan Stevens in the background here. He doesn't realize everyone's slowing down, just pile drives Dylan oh. Bam. That's a heavy hit, too. So this is big. Dan Stevens in the pits with heavy damage. Oh! No meatball flag. Oh, oh, oh God. One, two, Keenan Cousin's one of them. Yeah, Dylan Bam's involved, too. Uh, Lego's oh the 0x. He's done. He's now up to 6 within two two corners. He's gone oh from uh, 0 to 6. This is amazing. Ooh, <laughs> Eric, and, Eric and Tilly and Keenan Cousin oh! uh, are both involved Keenan. in that, and they're both two times. Did time you see Keenan's rejoin then? Yeah, that was, that was an incredible rejoin, um, I have to say. Well, I mean, it's incredible for Max Vance. If it was any other series, he would have got in big trouble from uh, any race control. Oh, hell yeah. Let's see what happened to him. So he, he arrives on the scene. And uh, yeah, he, on the voice chat, he said, gentlemen. And then back onto the racetrack, he comes. There goes until he and bam, actually bams the tire barrier. And yeah, see, Dylan Bam did the quote unquote right thing. And then Keenan's like, OK, got to go, got to oh. go. Oh, it's amazing that he got away with that. So Sam Harper's leading by by seven tenths from Jonathan Ben. Now Jonathan Ben is actually about to go a lap down. Oh, is he? Yeah. So he's he's, he's negative, almost a lap down. Negative. God damn it, JRT. Negative half a second <laughs> ahead of Sam Harper. Okay, negative half a second. So that was my JRT having a freak out there. There's um, Harper just behind Ben in the purple car. So yeah, mm. fifty three seconds ahead, uh, behind I should say, or. Half a second and a lap ahead. Right, right. So, yes, uh, I think it's confused by how far ahead everyone is of everyone else. It's not right. liking things. We're, we're it's too doing many a better job as a, it's, it's doing a better job as a driver out here on circuit. I can also regretfully inform the world I am overcharged. And, well, I'm like fuel burn. It's a, which is a bit like fuel, but just more costly, I guess. Well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't cost you anything in terms of weight or handling, but definitely cost you in terms of time because you were in the pits way longer than you needed to be. Simon Mazomo, meanwhile, he's uh, okay, yeah. still... But I'm still ahead of me. track. Yeah, true. The two-stop the two has not worked for that. Actually, hang on. There we go. He's listed as coming to the pits three times in this race. Mm. No, only two for me. Oh, yes, I see three as well. I think he might have got a speeding in pit lane penalty on the way out. Might have, might have. Well, Sam Harper finally puts Jonathan Bean a lap down. And Harper's actually not uh, not pushing too hard here. Actually got overtaken by uh, Mia Rose. And uh, now looking at Andrew Dyson trying to make his way around the outside too. Can I just say that uh, <clears throat> Brett Pankari set up beside him? It almost looks like he's at an old Video Easy or Blockbuster video. Yeah, just the about. The DVDs are set up there. It, I mean, it's awesome. It's cool, but... It's a bit of a throwback to the old days of when we used to actually go and borrow videos. Yeah, you Zoomers wouldn't know what the hell we're talking about. I remember Video Easy. I remember Blockbuster. I'm 29. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm older than you, son. Yeah. I'll stay out of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. 40-something. <laughs> 21. Well, I'll have I'm just you at 21. Know, I turn... I turned 30 last year, thank you, and you will respect your elder... Oh, sorry, my apologies. You're in charge here. I'm bad. Yes, I'm the one in control here, Scott. <laughs> that's, that's, that's twice Take now. I, I feel yeah, like there is. Yeah, I've uh, definitely cringed. We've got uh, You're on another. Thin ice, Rankin. <laughs> we've got another chat GPT. Uh, you ready? Oh, yeah. Ready. Well, folks, we've got 10 laps to go, and it's still anyone's guess at who will finish last. <laughs> the drivers are doing their, the drivers are doing their best to show us just how not to race, and I have to say they're doing a pretty good job of it. Buckle up, folks! It's going to be a bumpy ride to the finish. Oh yeah! Oh lordy! That is too relevant on too many levels. That does terrify me, though. ChatGPT terrifies me, legitimately. <laughs> Jonathan Bain to the pit lane. Yes, indeed. Oh, Dyson doing what he's been oh. doing best, racking up the mm -hmm. incident points. He's now into the forties. I mean, there is a 69 incident point limit. It would be... Is there? I had no yes. idea. It's not 69, it's 169. Yeah, DQ's uh, 169 yeah. and a drive through at 69. Right. I see. It's just all the more nice. Mm. I lo love how I'm getting so nice. absolutely roasted in the YouTube chat. Appreciate it. Thank Excellent. you. 
Uh, oh! Like to see. Oh, oh! Competition caution! Competition caution thrown by Jake Sperry! <laughs> Love it. Ooh. Oh! Um, this is this is a curveball. Even I didn't expect this. <laughs> how good. Um, so how, how are we doing this with everyone? It's apparently for safe, apparently, we, we've uh, debris on the track somewhere? Is there a kangaroo on the track? I'm sure Tom there's a Holland. kangaroo somewhere at uh, Rockingham Speedway on the track. Yep, Tom Holland accusing Jake Sperry of secretly being Michael Massey. <laughs> You're wrong nation. If it was you, we could uh, could say yeah. more likely. We could. Oh. <laughs> Josh Carroll Walden doing his best Toto Wolf impression in the InSim voice chat. I wish you could have heard that. Oh, God. The drivers are, are, are really getting in on this. Ugh. Hmm. Speaking of, speaking of drinks, I've run out of beer. So I'm while, while the safety car happens, I'm just going to run and grab another can, if you don't mind. I've just realized that uh, my microphone wasn't turned on there for a second. Uh, okay. just realized too, I mean, if we said no to Reese, would we have had a choice anyway? Probably not. Cheers, Reese. Now, I'm going to be curious, is he just, is he just call, calling a yellow for the sake of calling a yellow, or are we going to, like, get oh, wave arounds here to make this race interesting? I have no idea. Oh, dear. Apparently, debris, right. it wasn't debris on track, it was debris on it was track. Debris? <laughs> yeah, check it out. <laughs> Uh, chat GBT. A, oh, you ready? There's also uh, been a power cut in the pits. Oh, no pitting allowed. Ah, uh, uh, yes, the competition caution because the last thing we want is for anyone to actually gain an advantage, a significant advantage by you know driving well. Let's just, yeah. Well, let's just I mean, level the, the playing field and let the mediocre drivers catch up. <laughs> After all, this is a meme race, not a real competition, right? Um, oh my god. What is going I, on? I don't, I'm getting, I don't like it, but love it at the same time. I'm getting more and more uh, uneasy here. I mean, you know, we can we can we can talk for ages about like the ethics of using AI, and, and AI has been used for some pretty terrible things in the last few months, and people have every right to be wary of it. But even this, even this, is is making me highly concerned. I am big panic. Uh, just knowing how how on point this is. Uh, Dan Stevens has just sent me a message. He has lost audio. Oh dear. Well, Which I mean, I mean it's an electric car, I mean, so it's yeah. probably not the end of the world. But even He's still, not, yeah, you don't you don't need audio if you're driving an electric car. Jesus. Uh, I'm going to go rather than have uh, Ryan play around with ChatGPT. Let's quickly YouTube chat. Let us know what you want in our ChatGPT, and we'll do it over the last couple of laps. Can I point out? We need, we, this we is now a battle for the second. There is there is precisely one car on the lead lap. Yeah, and that is Sam Harper. Will he get a one lap penalty? Is the thing. To bring this all down to a potential five horse race. Harper, McKee, Dance, Rankin, and Stanley. Uh, four horse race. Take Rankin out of that one. There is no way in hell Wankin wins this one. Did you say um, Wankin? You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I swear you did. I'm not, I'm double, did. I'm not being a I, dick, but I, I swear you did. did. Double, double yeah. file restart. I heard it. ADHD. I, I put sounds together sometimes. Thank you. A yeah. Double file restart, you right. said. Yes. Mm. Getting a little interesting. Oh, we want a Jimmy Broadbent and Reese Gardner love story through Chat GPT. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Actually, hang on. I I actually that's long used, overdue. years ago. I used an AI story generator to generate uh, something. I just filled in me and Jimmy in 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 the name, and. The, the title generated the title generated for the story was two hung uncles driving to the beach 
<laughs> it was ridiculous. I think I still have it on my PC. Uh, I'm having I'm having electrical difficulties in my car at the moment. Apparently, tears of laughter have short circuited my car. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> There's a lot of questions being asked about uh, carting tactics. Mm. Well, I mean, and also the Sperry, odd, the odds on Sam Harper surviving a the first breaking zone here. Sperry did say racing rules were cart rules in the in the briefing, so I I I, I get the feeling that might be the way things go. go check out. Here we go then. It's time. The green flag flies. We are racing again. The black flag is out for Sam Harper. <laughs> black flag. Illegal charge oh no, oh no, for oh Sam no, oh no. Harper. Drivers, drivers are there. Oh, okay. We're alive. <laughs> Here we go. The race is on. The race is on. Keenan Cousin. Oh, has been shunts in the braking zone. <laughs> Down in 27. Scott Rank, it's murdering people. Oh, no. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Three Scott's laps murdering to go. himself. I, I got murdered! What's that me? <laughs> oh, oh no! Cisco. <laughs> Cisco! He holds it! So who's leading now? It's still Sam Harper. It's still Sam Harper, but he's got like a... Oh no! Cam oh, again! Oh! Oh, Cam! <laughs> he's off! Oh my god! Reese, as our outro, you have to read what I just sent you. Oh, do I? Do I really? Yep. <laughs> I'll just okay, read the first, me, the first paragraph. Once oh, upon no. a time on the other side of the world, there were two young men named Reese and no. Jimmy who shared a mutual love of racing. They met at a oh, sim no. racing event where they bonded over their shared that passion seems to be for motorsport and competitive spirit. Oh, okay. Cam right. in the wall. Yeah, Cam in the wall. All right, I'm reading that during the outro. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I'll, in fact, it'll be the last thing I say. It'll be the last. That'll be what we close the broadcast with. Oh, you wait until you read the end of it. <laughs> don't bring yeah, it. Don't down. worry. I, I, look, I, I skimmed it. <laughs> I know what it, I'm in store for. It's horrible anyway. and amazing at the same time. <laughs> all right, all right. Can't wait for it. Here we go then. Oh, someone's overshot their pit box. Yeah, it's Is that dance yeah. that's overshot? Harper, serving his pen. <laughs> oh, oh I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Harper serving his penalty. Cade McKee is the leader. Uh, not, not on my time. Not yet. Effective leader. But we'll see what happens to Sam Harper if he decide if he manages to complete this penalty. Oh, oh, McKee is the leader now. Yeah, all right. He yes. Yep. Scott Rankin's in second. If McKee makes a mistake, traffic. Scott could steal this. They are all dealing with traffic, though. Hmm. This this is this could be interesting. Rankin almost gets murdered. Got Yaman ahead. Oh. Oh, who's that guy? Oh. Shortcut. Oh God. Uh, oh. Oh, we've got um, disqualifications the coming in for Andrew Dyson and Steve McLennan as well. For using the oval banking. Oof. Naughty boys. Mm. No can do, boys. Can't do it. All right, two laps to go. It is on. I've got can one lap to go. I'm oh, on a lap it. behind We're the done. leaders. We're done. Yeah, this is it. This is white flag. All right, yeah, white flag. Final lap. Can Cade McKee hold on to win his first Max Bance Open? This is the big, this is the big deal. This is the big question. He's dealing with traffic here in the form of dance of JD Brooks. Dylan Bam just behind. No, oh, and off the track. Off the track goes Keenan Cousin. But Cade McKee, it seems that he... <laughs> needs to be careful to get killed by lap cars, it would seem. Yeah, yeah, really needs to be careful here. Rankin. There's only six and a half seconds behind. One mistake from McKee here coming onto the banking could end it all. Spinner in the background. But now it is plain sailing to the start finish line. 69 laps for Cade McKee, the newest son of banter. Car 28. After a few goes at it, Cade McKee. Is finally a Max Bance winner and gets taken out in celebration. Oh, beautiful there by Mia to yeah. clean Kate up. Joining Magnificent. the uh, sons and daughters of Banter. Oh, wow. Well done, Cade. Started ninth, managed to keep himself in the fight for a long time. 
But he is the one to come home with the Winra trophy this time. Which reminds me, I'll have to find, you go and find it. I'll quickly read, read through the uh, the first bit. You go and look for the PNG or the Thank JPEG. You. Thank you. Uh, Cade McKee by seven seconds over Scott Rankin. Ethan Stanley, Sam Harper, the only cars on the lead lap. Dan Yeaman finishes in fifth with no audio at the end of the race. So uh, good effort to finish the race. Uh, Mayor Rose in I sixth. I was perfectly fine. What are you talking about? Oh, no, it was you, You've Dan got You've got me in Steve. Oh, it's wrong. Look, You've it's done a lot. Oh, my yeah, God. It does, Scott. Jay! <laughs> yes! uh, good. Good. I've done that too. Uh, Brendan Lichtenberg and then Ollie Marla. Then Dan Stevens and uh, Cameron Dance yeeting the field with two laps to go. Lovely stuff. Uh, in 11th place was L.W. Adamek. Uh, Dylan Bam, who led the race for a period early on, uh, Ends up finishing 12th, two laps down in the end. He's followed by Ben and Shaye with Punkari rounding out the top 15. J.D. Brooks finishes in 16th place. Simon Mazomo in 17th with Antti Kellen three laps down in 18th. Josh Carroll Walden and Ellis Spice will round out the top 20. Uh, then there's the rest. Eric and Tilly, Roald Demua, uh, Hyla, Kassan, Scaramusa, Osborne, Holland, Vivinkt. Vivinkt, while he finishes 28th, won the most important race in this race. The race to Maccas and back, uh, Butler. And I don't think anyone else was even close to finishing. Mm, no. Definitely Dyson, seems that Dyson, way. Johnson, uh, Dyson and McClellan uh, both uh, booted and sent to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, that looks like it. Well, if we're waiting for, uh, for uh, Cade, you should we're read. Not. We're not. Okay, go for it. He's there. I, don't worry. I'm going to read that thing at the oh, very Oh, don't end. worry. I'm so excited for it because I've read it and I've lost my mind. All right. So, Cade McKee joins us in the comms box. Cade, you are a son of banter. Must feel good. Hopefully. I, maybe. It feels great. Uh, yeah. Cool. Great answer. Um, so, <laughs> what, 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 do you, what, do you, what do you think ended up uh, winning the race for you? Uh, of course, glossing over the fact that Sam Harper got a massive penalty. So, um, I accidentally I accidentally short-charged about two laps. So I came out pretty early. And I was saving charge all the way until we got the yellow there. And the, the yellow really saved me, actually. Yeah, right. Oh, so it all came down to uh, a mistake early on that turned into a happy little accident. Nothing more ma Max Bance than that. Well, I've sent you your copy of the Winra Trophy, the uh, most prestigious JPEG in all of sim racing esports. Um, wh what are your plans for it? What are you, you going to do with your brand new trophy? Uh, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to put that trophy on the biggest trophy case I have, which is uh, currently a shoebox. Lovely. Excellent stuff. It's an appropriate place, I think, for a Max Pants trophy. Yeah, I think so. That's uh, mm. It definitely beats the fridge. Anyway, uh, big congratulations to you, Cade McKee, from everyone here at SimSpeed TV and the Max Pants organization. Who do you have to thank for your top step on the podium today? Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for putting on the race, and I'd like to thank uh, just everybody that's helped me in sim racing and and real racing so indeed it all came down to this your life has reached its peak Cade McKee and we send our congratulations to you thank you for joining us in the comms box we do have another driver in the interview booth um, seems that uh, Keenan Cousin jumped into the awaiting interviews channel um, but I'm not too sure if uh, He's actually live with us at the moment, so we'll quickly. Oh. No, no, there we go. Yes. I was busy. I was busy cursing Simon Mezzanine, me, Mezza, Mezza, whatever yep. how you say his name. That's so exactly how you say it. Love it. Meme Zomo, we call him. <laughs> yeah, yeah mozzarella, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Ah, oh, well, it was uh, it was definitely an interesting one for you, Keenan, uh, um, getting your your DJ hat on uh, during the uh, the pit stop. Do you think it was a good set? I honestly, for not knowing what I was doing for 12 minutes, it went it went a lot better than I expected. Unfortunately, it was very copyrighted music, so I couldn't really, you know. But hey, uh, it'll live on from the memory, I, I suppose. 
Yeah, indeed it will. Well, unfortunately, you did miss out on uh, becoming a three-time Max Bands winner this time, but uh, you, you've been a regular feature at this event, and uh, I'm, I'm presuming that that love affair is not going to end anytime soon. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I don't know if I should be giving you credit or cursing you, but this may have been what's the best one. Uh, the car was terrible, and I, I mean that as the, uh, the, the most sincere compliment. Um, mm -hmm. Nobody knew what they were doing. Uh, it, it was it was a nightmare, but it was I, I don't know more recent ones that I've done. At the very least, this was one of the more fun ones. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for putting it on. Uh, it's it's if you if you're watching this at home, like is it worth staying up till six in the morning if I'm in North America? Yes. Uh, the worst case scenario, you get some cold McDonald's out of it. Oh, All Cisco's right. was hot. Uh, Don't worry about that. Cisco's was <laughs> yeah. cooked to order. Dude, you should have just got a pack of ketchup packets. I was telling you, man. Like, <laughs> Can I please have a cup of ice water? All the marbles. Cup of ice water uh, in and out. Off you go. Well, Keenan was uh, was trying to help you out there, Cisco. Turns out you lost the Macca's run race. Uh, you did finish ahead of Corey on track, but was it really worth it in the end? No, because you know what he did? He literally got his dog and then left to go get uh, Chick-fil-A because the Liverpool games it in an hour or yeah, in an hour <laughs> from now. So he literally went to get different breakfast. He's not even going to eat it. Oh, God, that's just no. Uh, I, I don't, All I don't even that. know what All to say All for that. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's it what sounds, it was worth it. Sounds like a sore winner to me. Um, Reese, I've got one more chat GPT to, to say uh, to to give you before you do yours because yours is amazing mm -hmm. uh why did the yeah. sim speed tv producer switch to broadcasting esports races uh the answer was because his skills as a driver were just too embarrassing to show on camera how does it bloody know that is exactly ah. the case my goodness wow you've just been okay, on fire yeah. tonight yeah, I think I, th I think we have to retire Jack Chat GPT because it, yeah. it's starting oh, to know too much. Wait until you hear the hidden love story between uh, a young man no, called no, no. Reese and Jimmy. Mm -hmm. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Sparrow, you got well, any words we... before we do it? Yeah, before save we that go. for Zolder. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Save that for Zolder. We have fanfic now. <laughs> well, we do actually. We could we could actually generate another and, and oh, save don't worry, it. there'll be more. Know. I've got a regenerate response button ready for a second. Oh boy! All right. Well, we'll stay. We'll stay with the one we've got for this one, and then generate a new one for Zolder. I think. Anyway, Sperry, any parting thoughts? I thought that we had a really good race. It's a shame that Rockingham Speedway doesn't have the electrical infrastructure to hold 69 laps worth of racing. The power went out, and as such, uh, we had to throw out the caution there at the end, and we found out that the cause of the issue of the power outage was from Sam Harper overcharging his car. So basically, we had to give him the lap penalty there, and that is why uh, the race ended out the way it did. Cade is a deserving champion, drove with really good speed and with a bit of luck with a caution, was uh, able to go through. I do want to point out that we had a truck out there, uh, making sure everyone was safe through. Um, but uh, that was an amazing Max Bantz. Um, we had an amazing race inside a race. We had amazing racing and uh, think orange. Yes, oh. that's, that's your hint for the next uh, running of the Max Bands Open in 13 weeks time. Do we have to? Here. Yes. Um, yeah, we do. Okay. We do. We do. Ha we ha I we love have Hungry to Jacks. Orange. <laughs> I do too, actually. Anyway, thanks very much, everybody, for watching. And thanks, everybody, for, uh, for joining in on uh, this uh, absolute degeneracy that we like to put on every single iRacing season. I will close with uh, the, the greatest of all love stories but before i do i want to say thanks to all of you who watched uh, thank you to sperry for organizing the event i'm just the guy who makes the videos and talks over the cars jay for bringing the live stream to you all to uh, scott and to dan for uh, for you know get, give, giving their existing? own little brand of entertainment yeah for existing yeah i think i think did, that's did he say that works. thanks yeah. yeah it's weird apparently thank you we're, for at existing. That part, we're at that part of the show or something scott so you know Mm-hmm. I'm we sorry. Are. I put pre precisely way too much effort into this tonight. You can't say thank you. Can't I? What would be an appropriate response? Get out of my commentary booth. All right, get out of my commentary booth. Can do. All right, thank you very much. I'm waiting. There we go. He's gone. All right. To say goodbye, once upon a time, 
On the other side of the world, there were two young men named Reese and Jimmy who shared a mutual love of racing. They met at a sim racing event where they bonded over their shared passion for motorsports and their competitive spirit. As they competed against each other on the virtual tracks, they found themselves drawn to each other's skill and drive. After the races, they would often share a cold beer and discuss their strategies and techniques, exchanging tips and tricks to improve their performance. Over time, their friendship grew into something more. They began to see each other not just as rivals, but as partners supporting each other through the ups and downs of their racing careers. They continued to race together and win together, sharing the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. But through it all, their love for each other only grew stronger. One day, as they sat together in the pits, sipping on their beers and watching the sunset, Reese turned to Jimmy and said, <laughs> You know, I never thought I could find someone who loves racing as much as I do. But you, Jimmy, you are the one for me. I love you. Jimmy's heart skipped a beat. He had always admired Reese's talent and dedication, but now he realized that he loved him too. Reese, I feel the same way, he said, taking Reese's hand in his. From that day on, they raced together not just as partners, but as lovers. And as they stood on the podium, sure. champagne spraying all around them, they knew that they had found the perfect teammate for life. How beautiful. Thank you everyone for watching. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, they're having sex after this. <laughs> Racing isn't easy. But experiencing it is. iRacing puts you in the driver's seat with the industry's leading sim racing game. Drive on laser scan replicas of the greatest racing circuits from around the world. Go head to head against other drivers chosen by skill based matchmaking to ensure competitive racing at every level. Compete across all your favorite series. In officially licensed cars, engineered to deliver the most accurate driving experience possible. Join a race or host your own with players from across the globe. Race against the computer or in a league with friends. Feel the thrill behind the wheel. Visit iRacing.com.